do you have advice for a programming beginner on how to learn Python the right way? Find something you actually want to do with it. If you say, I want to learn skill X, that's not enough motivation. You need to pick something and it can be a, it can be a crazy problem you want to solve. It, it can be completely unrealistic. But something that, that challenges you in, into actually learning coding in, in some language. And there's so many projects out there you can look for like that. That doesn't have to be some big ambitious thing. It could be writing a small bot. If you're into social media, you can write a Reddit bot or a Twitter bot or, uh, or some aspect of automating some as something that you do every single day, processing files, all that kind of stuff. Nowadays you can take machine learning components mm -hmm. and, and sort of, plug those things together mm -hmm. so do cool stuff with them so that's actually a good a really good example so if you're interested in machine learning the state of machine learning is such that like a, a tutorial that takes an hour can get you to start using uh pre-trained models to do something super cool and that's a good way to learn python because you learn just enough to run this model and that's like a, a sneaky way to get get in there to figure out how to import stuff how to write basic IO, how to run functions. I mean, I'm not sure if it's the best way to learn the basics in Python, but it could be nice to just get fall in love first and then figure out the basics, right? Yeah, you, you can't expect to learn Python from a one hour video. Kind of blanking out on the name of, of someone who, who wrote a very funny blog post where he said, I see all these ads for things like learn Python in 10 days or so. Mm -hmm. And he said the, the goal should be learn Python in 10 years. That's hilarious, but I completely disagree with that. I think the criticism behind that is that the, the places, just like the blog post from earlier, the places that tell you learn Python in five minutes or 10 minutes, they're actually usually really bad tutorials. So the thing is, I do believe that you can learn a thing in an hour to like get some interesting, quick, like to, it hooks you. I mean, this, but it just takes a tremendous amount of skill to be that kind of educator. Richard Feynman was able to condense a lot of ideas in physics in a very short amount of time, but that takes a deep, deep understanding. And so, yes, of course, the actual, I, I think the 10, the 10 years is, is about the experience the pain along the way. And there's well, something you, fundamental. Well, you have to practice. Yes. You can memorize the syntax, but, well, I couldn't, but maybe maybe someone else can, but that doesn't make you a coder. Yeah, I, actually coding has changed in, in fascinating ways because so much of uh, coding is copying and pasting from Stack Overflow and then adjusting, which is another way of coding. And I don't want to talk down to that kind of style of coding because it's kind of nicely efficient. But you know where that is going? A code generation? <laughs> Get, no, seriously, oh. GitHub Copilot. Yeah, Copilot. I use it every day and it- Really? It, yeah, it writes a lot of code for me. And usually it's slightly wrong, but it sa still saves me typing. Because all I have to do is like change one word in a line of text that otherwise it, it generated perfectly. And like how many times are you looking for like, oh, what was I doing this morning? I was looking for a begin marker and I look, was looking for an end marker. Mm -hmm. And so begin is blah, 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 search for begin. This is the begin token. Mm -hmm. And then the next line I type E and it, it completes the whole line with end instead of begin. Mm -hmm. That's a very simple example. Sometimes it, it sort of, if I name my function right, it writes a five or 10 line function. And you know Python enough to very quickly then detect the issues. So it's, it's, it becomes a really good dance partner it, then. It doesn't save me a lot of thinking, but since I'm a poor typist, I'm very much appreciative of all the, all the typing it does for me. 
much better actually than the, the previous generation of suggestions that are also still built in VS Code, uh, where when you hit like a dot, it it tries to guess what the type is of the variable to the left of the dot, and then it gives you a list, a pop-down menu of what the attributes of that object are. But Copilot is much, much smoother than that. Well, it's fascinating to hear that you use GitHub Copilot. Uh, do you think, do you worry about the future of that? Um, the, the automatic code generation, the increasing amount of th that kind of capability, are programmers' jobs threatened? Or is there still a significant role for humans? Are programmers' jobs threatened by the existence of Stack Overflow? I don't think so. It helps you take care of the boring stuff. And you shouldn't try to use it to do something that you have no way of understanding what you're doing yet. A tool like that is always best when the question you're asking is, please remind me of how I do this, which I, I could do, I could look up how to do it, but right now I've forgotten whether the method is called foo or bar or how you, what the shape of the API is, does it use a builder object or a constructor or a factory or uh, something else? And what are the parameters? It serves that role. It, it's like a great assistant, but the creative work of sort of deciding what you want, what you want the code to do is, is totally yours. 